So when I finally got it, this one sister, always a sister, you know what I'm saying? Wow. She was like, why are you why are you taking this and stuff? You know what I'm saying? You need to go and pick tobacco. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. I'm like, it man, was a sister, you know what so I'm I saying? I just looked at her. Really? Yeah. yeah. And so the white girl, she came along and said, no. girl, fill out this form and fill out this form and fill out this form. You get whatever you want. Yeah. But the sister. But we were, though, at, we were self-employed at the time. But the white woman. She was helping. She was yeah. telling us, you get this, you get that. It was like, okay, do you want this? Mm -hmm. But, yeah. you know, at this time, we was just leaving the service. We went on and applied for it. Yeah, and we got this cleaning business, and we was working for this lady. Uh, they were very wealthy. Yes. And they stayed in Florida, and she used to always tell me, uh, we got a <laughs> black club. I said, why would you paint it black? You know what she was trying to tell me, right? She had a black club. I said, why would you paint the club black? We didn't understand at the she time, said, but her she customers are black, black, so that's what she wow. wrote. So I said, a strip joint, say it. Say you got a strip joint, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so anyway, she kept saying, wow, you got all those kids, man, going there and apply for some money and stuff. I'm like, I don't want that. I'll charge you $100 an hour. I don't want that. She said, you know, go get it. Right, yeah. We went and got it. We got so it. I'm like, this lady is wealthy. She's collecting it. Yeah. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? We're looking yeah. at her like, they are you like serious? They frugal. They know and she they was. Do. They get all that free money. That's she, how they do it. In Clarksville, I forgot yeah. the name of this area. Indian Mound. Some, anyway, they had 100 acres. Yes, it was beautiful. And they had beautiful. fresh water. Fresh spring water, so water coming out. Yeah, they had spring water. Yeah. And it was like a, it had something to do with Civil War. Mm. Yeah. Like that. It was a beautiful piece of land. Memorial she had. type deal. Mm -hmm. And so anyway, uh, they eventually did sell it and, and moved back to Florida, Florida with that black club. But still, <laughs> still, just they had money stacked on top of money, yeah. stacked on top of money. And uh, I used to always, you know, joke with him and say, hey, man, when you going to give me that book? He's like, what book? That book that taught you how to get to these millions and stuff. <laughs> so he used to always laugh, but I always mm -hmm. been asking that, you know, every time we go to clean for him. And, uh, but... They had money and they was telling us, in so many words, take advantage of the system. That's what she said. It's there. And, she and said, I, you got seven kids, yeah. I want you to use it. Yeah, and I was like, no, I don't want Donald that. Trump didn't teach anybody nothing. He'll teach you how to use the system. Yeah. yeah. And that's what yeah. they did to us. And so, it was always them teaching us the, it was always, I hate to say it, our brother and sister. We had freebies. one brother, yeah. sis, one sister telling me, I know you got somebody helping you with your mortgage. Mm, yeah. She was angry. We had to go on to her boss on her. Yep. We actually went to her yep. boss. I was like, I hate to do this to you, sister, mm -hmm. but just you getting on my she nerves. She was really angry. I mean, yeah. angry at us. Thought we was getting over. She it. thought was we like, were stealing from the like, system or whatever. I don't these know. These wealthy people oh, wow. telling us going in, take the system because you know I earned it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. Right. Uh, right. Not her. When it she was like, "Y'all taking advantage." That's what she said. Oh, yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. I don't know why we like that, but that crabs in the barrel. That's true. It's a lot of crabs, crabs in the barrel. So I still love them, but um, mm -hmm. when it's time to do for my family, I ain't letting you stand in the way. That's right. right. That's right. And, and, sister and, or no sister. And that's why we came over here with the attitude. We help as many people as we can and won't even charge them for it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I and mean, that's what that's we do. us giving back. And the only thing we ask, we helped you free. Help the next person free. That's right. That's Not so many that mentality. came here, man. They was Some of them ain't got charging mentality. everybody. We was looking no. like, yeah, wow. How That's are we supposed to be a unit? Unified. With the land. We say we know this guy who's the owner. We introduce you to him. Y'all handle business. We out of the scenario. Yeah. Other people say, I'm gonna add on to what he wants, and we're gonna charge you the difference. We had people that tell us y'all don't you? know what y'all doing. Huh? They wanted us to, they told us we didn't know what we were doing. Yeah. Because we're not getting money from our brothers and sisters yeah. like that. It's like, they, they said that's we not how you survive. The they yeah. said we come here and we show people like, 
this guy's a good plumber, this guy's a good mechanic. They said that's wrong. Oh, you're raising the price up. I was like, that's what? what you're supposed to do. Um, like, how are you going to help? You're supposed to help each other up. How are yeah. you supposed to unify? That's how that's, you going to unify? Don't eventually, you know, well, every other nationality sticks together. That's how they do it. Even though they may not like each other. Yeah. They will do it to, for right. each other. We work, right. for, we work for some Indians that had like 5,000, 6,000 square foot houses. Yes. And we look at how they do it. Yep. They would bring a broke Indian from India, bring them into the house, train them up. Like, you're going to go into this hotel and learn every aspect of the hotel. Then we're going to put our money together and buy you a hotel. Well, we saw that for and years. you're going to do the same thing with it. And I'm like, why do they own so many hotels? They just showed you. Yep. And, and a lot of times, Chinese too. I've seen them, they live in them hotels yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, they definitely live do. in them hotels. They so do. Everything they have one room right there on the right. floor. That's right. First floor. That's right. Yep. And, the, and the Chinese too. Yeah, they I used do. to go to, I go to a lot of wholesale places years ago when I had a beauty supply in mm -hmm. Atlanta. And, um, and I used to go to the wholesale places. And you go to the wholesale, it would be like, they would be Chinese. Well, they lived in, in the warehouse. Yep. It would be like that, what's that steel, that sheet metal they make the building out of? Mm -hmm. Well, in the back, they lived back there. Yeah, that's right. You know, and That's then, what they do here. Mm -hmm. You go to any Indian place here, you'll see where they built a place. Mm -hmm. You may not see it when you first walk in there, but you believe me, they live on that mm -hmm. property. Right. Yeah. Uh, we used to clean so many, especially the Asian. They lived in the restaurant. They may, right. you'll be on the other side. So they have a big place where they, that's where they live. Yeah. And, and it's not one, it's a lot. Yeah. And, and I think it's somehow a disadvantage to us because when we do stuff, we feel we got to go alone. Instead of saying, hey, here goes some people. But you know, we weren't always like that because I remember no. growing up uh, in Virginia and my grandmother taking people in, like family members. You would help each other. Like right. my mother and my dad, they moved to West Virginia because my dad needed work. Mm -hmm. So they stayed with relatives and, and people helped each other back then. But now it's like everybody want to be individual. To themselves. I, like, I, 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 I want to be by myself. I don't want to, you Because know, be I, the system did that to us. It was yes. designed for us to be that way. Yeah. Break up, conquer, and divide. That's, That's what right. they did. That's right. You get the man at the house. You can, you'll be all right. We got That's this right. for you. So they did that to us, and I, just, I think we just took along with it. And what we're working now at, at these jobs, and we figure, wow, we're making all this money. I don't need you. I don't need you. I don't need to stay at your house. So I think that they that was designed for us. That's true, but and it's I, only toward us though. That of course that that, that shows you how dynamic we're that we so, are because yeah. everybody's so fearful of us accomplishing that everything is targeting us. They know don't what we Gambia's can do. Person, don't let Gambians get so high. Don't let black Americans get so high. Everything is targeted towards Black us. Wall us. Street. Once they took that out, they knew what was happening. We had banks. We had police stations. We had everything. Hospital. And they said when they did, did tear those down, they weren't going to ever allow that again. again and we and they don't. Do and look how them. They had all the money in the banks and they never got the money back because after everything burned down, they said, well, you don't have no potential. You can't prove that this money is exactly. yours. Exactly. Yep. That's yep. the system. That's the system. They, they switch and hands. Quit. I say reparations. Me too. That's we what we need say. Y'all heard it now. We need reparations. Yep. Yeah. And I ain't think about no, won't that a slap on the wrist giving you, us Juneteenth? You saw that. June now they saying something else. Was what was June that they said we was just a slap on the wrist. And do you know in Anderson, South Carolina, that they had a Juneteenth billboard up and it had this white man and I don't have nothing against that, but had a white man and a white woman um on the Juneteenth pole. Uh, they weren't Where slaves. Is this at? Yep. In slap Anderson, in the face. South Carolina, they were slap never in the slaves. Face. Slap Juneteenth in the face. was because in Texas they had already been free, but those slaves were still there working on the plantation. That's Thank right. you. So how do you represent Juneteenth by having two white people on the billboard? Slap in the face. What did the guy say about we give us what? Uh, oh yeah, health care. give us reparations. All we need is uh, a, a, a a good living wage and health care. No, I said a good living wage no. means you You're working crazy. for somebody. Thank you. No. And no. health care. Mm -mm. What no. you need Give to do money. is you can go get... any country and get that besides America. Thank, Thank you. you. That's what you I need say to too. Get, yeah. We need to have a lump sum of money for every family because they had. Uh, look at all the First years all, that they didn't pay anybody. Thank you. It's exactly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
So you don't des- you don't get to dictate where I take my money. Yeah, that's right. Even if I mess it up and give it back to you, you, that's right. That's my business, that's right. which I ain't giving it back to you. No, they know a lot of people gonna leave. Yeah, they know that a, a lot, lot of, of us gonna going leave. to leave. Scram out of there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they don't want to do that. Mm-hmm. Well, you, you, then you well, got the, the coonet. I, I, I have coon. no doubt. I have no doubt in my mind we're going to get that money. Because yeah. whatever we set our mind to do, we get it. The only thing is, if how long we can we delay them? If we all just come together with the same mindset. That yeah. ain't going to happen. <laughs> what they call those that people, those uh, bougie ones? No. We got to get them out of the way. Yeah, that's why it never happened. That's Because we got the educated they, and we got the elite. Exactly, elite. That work for yeah. them and say, I keep them confused, massa. Yep. Uh-huh. That's what they're going to say. That's exactly you know what, 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 what they... We need to get them out the way. Yeah, get them out the way. Malcolm said it. And if it's Obama, who cares? Yeah, got to get them first. Them the only ones who's keeping us down, too. Mm-hmm. Get out there and vote. Vote for what? They've been voting all their lives and ain't nothing changed. But we're going to get it, though. True. But we're going to get that change. money. We're going to get that right, reparation. No, nope. we're going to get that reparation. If I ain't anything, got no doubt. thing it's gotten worse. Right. Yes. I mean, the last time I voted was for him. And if I could take it back, I would. Yeah. But, but, but this is my thing. I know like you say, kids walked and voted. I was so happy. Yeah, I, we were voting. too. Yeah. But you know what? You didn't get my tears because I wasn't faking it. Yeah. I want to see what you're going to do. When I saw him. The, LBGT? All this, no, the second term. And I yeah, was that's like, when he's, the second term. It was like. Was, Something's Walk. wrong. He did something totally different. Right. Nothing like the first term. Yes. He it just, was different. The first term was a whole lie. And that the truth was the second term. It start, yeah, it started to show. And then mm-hmm. everybody's angry. And well, we, we were like, why, why are they mad at him? I didn't know what was going on. Because I really weren't into it. But I was just happy that was a black president. Mm-hmm. We all were. Right. Gotta be something more than that. Yes. Thing. And that's once I started to see it, I was like, I see why they mad with him. He ain't doing jack. Mm-hmm. He was and, just a puppet. And you still love him today. You still you go in there. They got JFK, Jesus, and him on their wall. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, what did he do? What did any what of did them do? do? <laughs> yeah, but uh, you still got some people that defended and stuff. Yeah, and they they love him. Saying that was the best president ever. And I was like, wow. He did nothing, just like the rest. All, Look all where he's from, the south side of Chicago. Huh? Thank That's you. what he did. He did yep. a lot exactly. of killing. Exactly. Honestly, That's it. we were self-employed in America. We made more money under Bush than we did Obama. We yeah, lost money under Obama. Yeah, we lost that, yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know what he was doing. He probably him. just a dummy and Bush didn't care. Bush really could have gave us some of that money that he stole from Saddam. Mm-hmm. Thank That's you. True. They took it all. Of that. Yeah. That was, that was for the family there. Yeah. And, and that mm-hmm. other one, Clinton. Mm-hmm. He took from uh, yeah. but, uh, but, Haiti. But uh, once you leave the illusion, like when we left America, we we weren't at zero. We had a negative net worth. Mm-hmm. And as soon as we hit the ground over here, them numbers just start saying, yeah. just start clicking like that and stuff. I don't know if anybody going to catch what I just said. I, but, I but, but, you know, a lot of us got a negative net worth, mm-hmm. not zero. Zero means you owe nobody. You just yeah, said right. zero. We were negative. That means we old people. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But once we came on here and left all that mess behind us, yeah. Every month, just every month, just, just start taking. You get the breeze. Taking. You're not worried about who coming to get this truck, right? Or the car. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, will you be sitting on the front? Mm-hmm. You get to breathe, guys. I mean, and, and really breathe. Every purchase that you make adds to that number again. You mm-hmm. see what I'm saying? Every purchase that you make, like like the land now, we just keep buying and adding, and it just keep getting bigger and bigger. The numbers just keep clicking. Okay. Just keep How clicking. is it in Gambia, as far as like, do you have to pay taxes on land? Yes. Every, Every year. December, you got to pay taxes on your land. Is it a lot? It depends on what you're using it for. Mm-hmm. Is it just your compound on it? Is it an eco farm? Stuff like that. Do you have a, a hotel on it? So it depends on what you're using the land for you know what i'm saying and it's not and like that's what you pay it's, it's not, not like america no. it's not like in america no. it's not it's not expensive no it's not mm-hmm. what is that oh that's a dog the bad a thing mm-hmm. oh sleep knocked out mm-hmm. yeah yeah you jokers be barking at night they be barking at night anybody move on the land any anything move they barking <laughs> yeah you know what i'm that's saying good. And if we let the, the 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 vicious ones out, they attack it. You yeah, know what I'm big I mean? time. So 
You know, we try to keep them uh, locked until we know so, ain't nobody on the so lane. y'all got the pits, pits in there. Yeah. 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 Why y'all call them vicious? Because they're not really around well, people that much. Around they're people. Yeah, they don't know you, they're going to yeah. be vicious. Yeah. yeah, these are semi-aggressive to non-aggressive that's out now. You and the, the, the girl... So they'll just bark at you, but those, they actually come up on you. Right, you know so we have to... The girl is in the house now. The pit... Yeah, the girl. she's in the house. She's in now. our house. Yeah. So when they come to work, we have to put her out because she's looking like... Mm, you know what I'm saying? I don't know you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I, I have to put her in the house. I don't want to just outright attack mm -hmm. someone. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So they're building a fence around it now. The house, so they can you be out there. So they can kind of... Instead of being in this little house back here, they can yeah. run around yeah. like they did yeah. on the rental properties. Yeah, yeah. And when we shut down, ain't nobody coming in, we let them run around all around the property. Yeah. Then, you know so y'all on the land for good now. You don't have to go back to the other house. No. Again. Wow, what a relief that, that is. That is, in terms of gas, that's $250 yes. every week saved. It was a if lot of money. The rent, that's 500 plus the 250 Wow. If you add Norwick, that's another 200 to 300 that's saved. Yeah. So now with all those savings, you get to see where we get to put it right back into the land. Now. Right. So what is your power source out here? Do you solar. Solar. So everything is solar. Mm -hmm. When the sun come up, we got power. Okay. The thing of the lights going out and stuff, you know, like yep. that, that's the thing of the past. Wow. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. And we that don't pay water. Of, yep. And yep. you have a generator. But if we need because, it, but we don't need it, use it for the house. Because uh, for the house. it's it's not set up to irrigate everything. Okay. We just want to get out here and start growing stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then we say once we get out here, we'll go back and fix it. We'll go solar, then we'll go drip irrigation. Mm -hmm. We just flip a switch, everything water. You don't need so many people to come in and water. Mm -hmm. All right, Pioneer. And we could <laughs> We couldn't watch yeah, we when we weren't living here. here. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. But that's thank what we you. said. I mean, you know, we want it to be automated. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just flip yeah. the switch and, and, and yeah. it runs. I thought we would you never get here. Harvest. It was a headache. I'm so glad it's that we made it here. Wow. Yeah. yeah. We just, yeah. I, we was like, we're not giving up. We're a not turning around, I'm not like, going back. No, I'm a lot here. of times you that they, 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 it comes across your mind. Do we make the right decision? Yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying. Though, when I look at the two of y'all, though, I say, you know, y'all are strong. Y'all have each other because yeah. you two have each other's back, and that's you know that's a plus that because you true. know over in um, what is that damn Erica? That place is it's so hot. much torn relationships and yeah. people don't look at the big picture yeah. no. it's always right now gratification with yeah. that. that's true and, then, and but i i'm you know I really we've been love, like that since we got married when yeah, we got I love married y'all have each other's back yeah when we got but married how, we how, said how, how, nobody will ever how, come in between how long, how long you been married in october it'd be 32 years, 32 years. All right. but yeah. but in, in, in america it, it sets you against the man yeah. yeah any kind of financial problems come in there oh it's your fault no it ain't it's your fault now y'all separate. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Instead and saying, it, it okay, doesn't really we, have to be that yeah, how, way. How can we best and solve then this? And in America, it's so many distractions. It's distractions. Yeah. That's here what too, we say. Yeah. But not it's like so there. many distractions because the internet, the, yeah. everything is so many. And you don't available. get a chance to think yeah. what to do, how yeah. to do it. Yeah. Because you got that distraction yeah. always yeah. in the way. Always. And, and that's again. It was designed to be that yeah, way. Yeah. It was designed to be that way. And, and you, when we were when we were really starting off, when he were in the military, when we started off, we told ourselves we knew where we come from, where our uh, my upbringing, his upbringing. Uh -huh. My mom was married. It wasn't all that. His, I don't know. I Same it. thing. Okay, I didn't want to say. Be, be, keep it real. <laughs> but we both <laughs> said we didn't want that. Right. No matter whatever we go through. It's Rick and I. Mm -hmm. Nobody else, not even the kids. Yep. You ain't coming up in here. Even today, the kids, you can't do this. I would never allow any of my kids to interfere with whatever Rick and I got going on. And we told that not our moms, no uncles, no cousins, nobody. If we can't handle it, then we know what we need to do. Mm -hmm. Not them. Mm -hmm. I don't care about what one person tell you that he did or I did. If I didn't tell you, then what you said, it don't mean a thing. Mm -hmm. And awesome. so we didn't allow that. Yeah, yeah, but an illusion like it is, it's, 
is something always trying to drive you apart. Yeah. Yes. Always something. You know yes. what I'm saying? Always. Well, we had that. Even with we Rick and I when we were in uh staying in Tennessee, we didn't really socialize like friends go out, they come to our house. Yeah. That did that was a no no. The kids did a lot of sports, travel ball, softball, volleyball, all mm -hmm. that. Whatever we did out there, it stayed there. Mm -hmm. Once we got home, it was just us. Yeah. yeah this, so this we the, really didn't have yeah. like that. Yeah. C coming over here, this is the most socializing that, that we've, we've ever, ever did. Done. Yeah. <laughs> you know all the people that be coming in now. We I be looking like, wow. You know what I'm we've saying? never we're done like, this. <laughs> we were, we was we was like kind of like a little cult. We just kept to ourselves. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Stayed in the neighborhood for about 20 years. Some well, of the people know, we couldn't even tell you their first name the or last good thing name. About it, if you keep them under here, that's it. Out of your house. It's that's still. true. That's, that's it. So true. And that's what we do. That's we so try. True. The Cause I, place right my, here, cause yeah. you gotta have your privacy. Thank you. That's my right. personal yeah. space. When I get there. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Uh -uh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people here call us anti-social. Still, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's not anti-social. Yeah. That's smart. I can't yeah. attend every function that's here. Right. You know. That's right. I have other things that I have to, yeah. if I can't help myself, I can't help you. Yeah. So I have to make sure that things are here right. together, you know. Right. Sometimes. Yeah, I got a lot going on here too. So. Yeah. Yeah, so. yeah, that's true. Yeah. And, uh, you yeah, know, some people. Counts. Yeah, yeah. And some people, they just, they just don't get it. You know what no. I'm saying? We get calls all the type of the night. I'm like, I'm not answering that one. Yeah. <laughs> not that one. Yeah. Not that one either. Yeah, America, UK. <laughs> yes. Like, it's crazy, how but how did I, you get the number? This is what I don't understand. How did you get yeah. the phone number? You know what I'm saying? Somebody know. gave it to him. You know? I don't I'm like, know how they got the number, but I'm glad I got it. <laughs> <laughs> you can wow. always have it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I don't care how yes, we but we don't mind help. Yeah. Like I said, I don't mind helping some people, but I, a lot of people wants to come here and live with their tent. Really? really? Yeah, they, yeah, yeah, free. Yeah. They want to store stuff out here free? And I'm like, I'm like I can so help. So when y'all going to start building? They built their house and they built No, no, they no, build. no. They're supposed to be building rental units, right? She, yeah, 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 yeah. I watched that video. Yeah, yeah, yeah It's now. coming. Now, we, we just we, got here, but yeah, it's coming. Yeah, okay. now we just made it here. There's another building that you can't see. It's being built by the, the way house. behind the house. That's okay. behind the house. The house, if you can see it from here, the house sits on the halfway mark of the land. Okay. There's another half behind it, and we started building back there. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And that's where the uh, rental houses will go. You know, over oh, that way. Back that way. Where is the children's apartment? It'll that's, be. That'll be. <laughs> that's supposed to be to the right. Look, I did, of I'm the, not that confident. Me too. Me too. <laughs> yeah, that's I mean, awesome. That sounds good. Yeah. To me, like one of my biggest failures is that I'm about to hit 60 in October, and I have failed to get all the kids out the house. I take that as a personal failure, you know, you're supposed to be in your own house and stuff and doing that. I said, okay, maybe you didn't have the motivation to do it. Well, not really. I don't think that's a failure. He well, considers I do. I consider How old failure. are they? Huh? How old are they? Mm. My oldest would be 40. No, no. With us now. With us here. Oh, here. Raheem is 21. Ricky's 22. Nadia's 20. Six and James is twenty five. Yeah, I don't think y'all right on time because you're getting ready to build them an apartment. But but see if I don't, <laughs> never it's see if I don't, they never help leave. All the they've given y'all uh, since y'all. You call that help? No. Say that again. <laughs> what did you just say? I know I didn't hear that right. Did you say help? They don't help. I mean, I mean. <laughs> no, I, I, I take know. that back. The little help they do, they did help a little bit. I think that us black folks get that wrong when we think that our children. Are supposed to leave at 18 because of 18. No, we we feel that way too. Really ready, ready. And I think that we should invest more years in helping them at home. No, we, we said yeah, that too. Yeah. We but didn't want them to leave at 18. Never leave. Yeah, yeah. With that mindset, they'll never leave. It's like. But that's why you get some land and that's why you build a house. Thank and then you. You build them extra houses. Right. And then you charge them rent. Thank you. That's what we plan and on doing. And that's yeah, what yeah. we plan on doing. That's what we plan on doing. But they I, don't like it. We I, had one tell us, we have some African p uh, friends. And they parents don't charge them. I'm like, okay, well, that's oh, not your well. parents. Right. Thank you. That's yeah. what I told her. My, I was my, like, well, I'm thing, sorry. My thing is we're not going to always be around. Right. And if they don't understand self-sufficiency, right. they never would. They'll go right back into the system. I think they're going to sell and give it man. away and go. Yeah, you want yeah. this to be a legacy to go. Right. On. This is something that you own. You know what I'm yeah. saying? 
you don't have to go and work for anybody. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And, and that's what we try to tell them. So that's them. what I said. So it's important that you listen to what your parents are saying. A lot of them are, are telling us that they're, they were angry at me, some of my oldest ones, because I wouldn't let them work. They wanted to, you know, when, when they were in school, we wanted them to focus on school. Yeah. They told me that uh, I didn't give them that chance to work outside like a Burger King or McDonald's. I was so afraid, you know, back then, a lot of things was happening. I didn't want them to work. They said, well, you didn't want me. One of my daughters, she said, you didn't want me to fail. That's what it was. And I said, it wasn't that. I was trying to protect. Because and you I, wanted her to focus on school, school because yes. a lot of times they don't keep the grades up and stuff mm -hmm. when you got too much going on. Exactly. My grandmother, the one that just um, graduated from esthetician school, she's been living with me since she was in the 11th grade. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want her to do a lot either. Right. Because I wanted her to just focus, get right. finish school. Focus. Thank finish. you. I want you to finish something. Get a chance to yes, think about what you actually really yeah, want yeah. to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not into, you know, once they hit the high school years, you know, everybody want a boyfriend. Yeah. You know, that's going to be plenty of time to have those. Yeah. But, you know, because like I said, when I was coming up, no one ever taught me those things. Yeah. And I was trying to show them that what I didn't, you know, get taught. I think that was good something. Yeah. yeah. It was. No, but they, they were mad at me. You should have let us. They're mad at her. I, yeah. I, I bet they're you they probably her. thank you now. Yeah, but we had a business, and I was like, "Yeah, because we work, always was self-employed." Work for yourself. This is your yeah, business, yeah, something yeah. to inherit. And they was like, "No, we don't like that." They didn't like and it. And I'm like, you, "You're rejecting a hundred to two hundred dollars an hour self-employment." You know what I'm saying? And you want to go work for? <laughs> I we much had minimum a, wage job and stuff like that. My son James. It we was a public interaction too. I think it I, was. I think everything needs a. Everybody has to have a. A social but they had that remember they did softball that volleyball right, travel right. balls yeah, yeah, yeah. we what they even mean, ran but, track we but, was like and, traveling but the only reason they was able to do that is because we, were we didn't have a job right now no job is gonna let you get off go participate in this track meet mm -hmm. go to the junior olympics see we when kept them out there Chicago, busy. they're not gonna allow that you see yeah. what i'm saying so we That's was like how we were able to do that because we were self-employed thank you to get to travel with jonathan they gotta understand with, that his sons went to junior olympics yes. yeah so that's the only way we could afford to do that yeah being thank you, you yeah. gotta understand that but, you know? but they were really angry said i didn't give them a chance to fail uh, whatever i was like okay go on here now you got your change you grown go see yeah. what you can yeah. do it's, it's, it's like now. learn you know the things that we taught you yeah, you should be able to yeah, be okay it, it's like now once we no. get this set up we can travel you know, we 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 not limited to the Gambia. We can jump to Tanzania. We can go to Egypt. We can go to Morocco. We can go to uh, South Africa. We can go to Ghana <laughs> because we put the time in. Exactly. Right? But the ones that still haven't got the mindset, say, "I want to work for somebody else," you stuck. Right? Yeah. You stuck. They just won't get it. I remember when we first got here. We, you know, we had well before we got here, we were James was still in um, was he in high school then? He said he told us. I don't want to be a janitor all my life because we were two hundred dollars an hour. He was making that money, right? So when we got to Gambia, man, he was asking for hundreds of lossy, two hundred. We were laughing, we were just begging busting money, out laughing because we were thinking about what he told us back then. The money you was making back then, in your mind, you said that was little. This Gambia money now, two dollars, two dollars. Mm -hmm. And, and do he, anything for it too now. Yeah, he wouldn't go. You got three Delossi. <laughs> <laughs> they actually asked for just just three Delossi. Give me coins. I'm looking like, man, in America we was doing this. You didn't want that. Nope. Now you asking for three Delossi? Yep. <laughs> yep. Couldn't get him to cut the grass. Well, grand. you know, everybody. Sorry, guys. Three Delossi goes yep. a, a little bit yep. here. <laughs> yeah. Act so. like, like little crackheads now. It'd be so you know funny. <laughs> go take that engine out. Go take that engine out. Okay, give me some tools, Dad. Before you like, I don't want to do that. Yep. So over here now, you understand the difference. Yeah. So now we like go do this. They run. They run and go I'm do like, it. I'm like, wow, that's only yep. hundred dollars. <laughs> That's two dollars. So I guess they learning right now. So I want them yeah. to see the difference. The difference, I want them yeah. To see. I mm -hmm. want yeah. Them to see. They need to be re-educated. Yeah, that's yeah. what that is. So I'm like, man. It, but it, it, we it we enjoyed it. Is. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end this. This is getting too long. I'm gonna go ahead All and right. end this. So. We're happy to be here with the bags. We love y'all.
Thank Love you. Thank too. you. If you want to say anything more about your business, you're fine. welcome to. Come and see us at Imani's Beauty. The old dream park. <laughs> <laughs> she has to keep repeating that. Yeah. To me, yeah, too, because I, yeah. I don't remember. We're over there where Motus is at. Mm -hmm. right, get out here. there guys go and visit them Check and them you, out. Go, you wouldn't you're not gonna regret it mm -hmm. they got a lot of good things thanks everybody right. bye, bye bag family love you guys